Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about the treatment for lice. Now my daughter got lice about a month ago and it was a very horrible experience for me. So if you're going through this right now with your child, then you know um, how extremely frustrating it is to get rid of them. And maybe I could offer you some helpful uh, tips and advice to help you either get started on the treatment of the lice or if you can't get rid of the lice, maybe this will help. So. First, I want to talk about some facts about lice before we start. Um, one lice is actually called a louse. And when you have many louse, that's called lice. So lice is like the many louses that are in the hair um, or the scalp. Uh, lice do not jump. They don't fly. They don't have wings. Um, they do move very quickly by contact um, from one infected person to the other and usually how they catch it is from their hair touching each other or they like share um, either their clothing, hair accessories, hats, um, sleep on a pillow of theirs, like if they go to somebody's house and they're hanging out on their um, bed or, what, or use a towel, it's very, they just kind of like can um, crawl onto those items and then be transferred like that. Um, the female louse lives 30 days and she lays about four eggs a day and she does need a male louse to mate with in order to have fertile eggs but she can still lay eggs even if they're not fertile uh, non-fertile eggs are usually whitish in color I guess like clear and then if they're fertile they will not be clear you'll probably see a little um, black thing inside of it um, and it takes about seven to, to ten days for the eggs to hatch once she does lay the eggs and they are fertile it takes seven to ten days from that point in order for the eggs to hatch and then when they hatch they're called nymphs and nymphs are very very tiny and they feed off of your blood right away as soon as they hatch and um, then it takes them about seven to ten days to mature to then produce eggs themselves so it is pretty much a cycle that occurs when you get lice so the thing is to uh, stop the cycle at some point. So um, where you will find the lice is usually uh, the nape of the neck, which is in, in this area near the back of the neck, the crown, which is in this area right here of the head, and, and it can be like towards the front or mostly on the top right here, and also around the ears. So you will be checking these spots to see if you see any eggs or lice. Um, I noticed that I don't think the lice really hang out near the ears as much but I did find like one over here and like at the nape and the neck that's where I did find quite a bit. Um, the eggs are also called nits and they are found on the hair shift and I would say that they're not that close to the scalp they're more like I'd say like a quarter inch away um, on the hair shaft so you will see them and they are sticky they stick to the hair and they're usually like on one side, they're not like wrapped around the hair, and they look like little tiny small glue dots. Now the things that you'll need to get rid of the lice is what I think would work the best. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what I think would work the best. Um, first of all, Listerine. Listerine, um, I think the reason is because it has alcohol in it. It's also like a pleasant kind of smell. Instead of dousing your child's hair with alcohol, which would probably kill them, um, it would overwhelm your child and maybe like let them pass out so I would just do the Listerine Lice Comb so I'm gonna show you a Lice Comb that I recommend and this is by RID and it's quite expensive on it by itself but it's definitely worth it you're gonna need one of these because it has metal um, teeth so it grabs onto the lice and the eggs quite nicely the egg the um, lice kinda get trapped especially when they're bigger they'll get um, caught in the bigger teeth and then the eggs will get, um, they're easier to take out with the smaller teeth. So that's why this comb is really, really good. Um, you're going to need this bottle of extra strength Denerex. And the reason why I suggest to use this is because this is um, an anti-dandruff shampoo. This actually has salicylic acid in it. And they do not like salicylic acid. So you'll need this. And you will need Suave or any kind of brand, but Suave I think is um, one that you'll definitely want to like try and find first because they seem to have it. The um, coconut conditioner. And you could even buy coconut shampoo too just in case, but coconut conditioner. So that's really good. And then you will need, I would suggest one of these kind of combs. Um, it has a pointy end over here, 
on one side and I really like these type of combs because you can take the end and you can actually um, separate the hair and look through to the skin. And then I recommend a gel or hairspray or something uh, for the hair to put in the hair afterwards. And of course I use this, I would say they even have one of these in coconut. So actually you're probably better off getting this in coconut. This They sell this in the African American section of most stores and it's like three dollars for this whole jug. And this is really good because it's, it's kind of on the greasy side. So you want to just use a little bit like lotion and you want to apply it to the hair, especially like um you know all around the scalp and stuff like that so I'll, I'll pretty much I guess explain that more in detail but they they can't like even if they lay an egg on that and you go to wash it shampoo whatever the um the eggs will tend to slide out more easily okay so now I'm going to explain in detail what you can do with these items so with the Listerine I would suggest um either doing this over your kitchen sink, bathroom sink, or in the tub if you want. The Listerine is quite simple. Um, you're going to put the Listerine in the hair. Now, to make it easier, which nobody has suggested, I would suggest a spray bottle because if you use it in the bottle and you pour it over their hair, it seems like you're going to waste the whole bottle. So the best thing to do is to get a, a spray bottle. And you're going to soak the entire head of hair in the Listerine. And then after you're done with that, you want to wrap it up in a little bun and put a shower cap, a disposable shower cap, um, just primarily for this purpose. So go to the dollar store, get a couple little shower caps that are cheap. Um, put put the um, shower cap over the head and leave that in the hair, the Listerine in the hair, for about two hours. After two hours, it's supposed to like kill the lice. So that that's the whole point of the Listerine, I guess because of the alcohol in it. So you're going to do that and then you're going to rinse it out of the hair and you probably want to carefully dispose of the shower cap because I'm pretty sure you're going to find like some dead lice and um, stuff like that in there. Um, then after that, which you probably should do um, in the bathtub, is to put conditioner, the conditioner in the hair. Now you don't have to put the coconut conditioner, you can put any conditioner at this point. Um, this is just so that the hair is detangled and the comb could go easily through the hair without you having a problem. Um, and you're going to use the lice comb, so that's where the lice comb comes into play, and you're going to um, comb the hair pretty much uh, slowly. I would suggest probably using the bigger uh, end first. Let me take it out of the package so that I could show you. And the bigger end right here on this side, this will capture um, the bigger lice. So, you know, you want to start from the, the scalp, from the root of the hair, and go down. And you want to continually do that and wipe it either I would suggest wiping it on paper towel so that way you can see what you're getting if there are lice or how many, etc. This is an easy way for you to tell um, by wiping it on a paper towel. So you just wipe it on a paper towel and keep doing this. This is the easiest in the bathtub though because you, you know, you're going to get this pretty much everywhere. So, And then when you're done with that, you want to go ahead and use um, the smaller ends afterwards and that will help get the eggs out. The eggs. Um, it are very difficult to get out. Um, another option that many people have suggested, um, like after doing the Listerine and kind of killing the lice, which um, I would, I don't recommend it because I tried the vinegar. It, they use white distilled vinegar, and they do the same method as the Listerine except with the vinegar this time, and that's supposed to remove the eggs, like the glue from the eggs. And honestly, I think you know it's optional if you want to try it. I'm not going to suggest it. I did not think that it did anything. I did it in my daughter's hair and it did nothing. The, the eggs were still on the hair. So, you know, you can go ahead and, and try that, but um, it, did, it just didn't work for me. So I, after you're done in the uh, bathtub with the um, conditioner and you've, you know, put all of the, the lice, the eggs, everything onto the paper towel, um, you rinse the hair. And maybe you want to do this until you feel like you've gotten most of them out. You could just keep doing it until you don't see anything. I would, that's what I would suggest. Just keep doing it until you don't see anything. And then go ahead and rinse the conditioner out of the hair. The, the hair is dry. I think you could kind of see the eggs better. So at that point I would say go through the whole head. Use this to go through each and every single section of the hair. This might take you a while. This is going to take you a very, very long time. You're going to go through each and every section and check for more eggs, check for more lice. If there's like one left or two left, pick them out. Pick them out. Pick the lice out. Pick the eggs out. Whatever you find, you need to get rid of it. So you need to pick every single one out. Because if there's even a chance that one is left, it's going to multiply. So you cannot leave one behind. And um, 
this is a big process. It's not going to be done one day. So just to, to let you know that this is going to be probably at least a couple weeks that, you know, you have to really um, be uh, determined to take care of this issue. Otherwise, you're not going to get rid of it. After you're done with the paper towels and you're done wiping everything on paper towels, you want to throw those paper towels into a Ziploc bag, zip it up, and throw it out in the garbage because if there's even a few that are alive or viable, like the eggs or whatever, they can hatch and cause a reinfestation. So you want to make sure that you put them in the Ziploc bag and throw it out in the garbage just to be safe. Um, and then um, you, what I really recommend is that after the hair is dry, um, that you can use a flat iron to kill or fry any eggs that you may have missed that you didn't see. Sometimes they're really tiny. Flat iron as close to the scalp as possible. You know, it's a really great idea to um, do that because it's very, very hot and you're not like using a blow dryer to burn, you know, constant heat. So the flat iron is really, really good to, um, to kill any eggs that might have remained that you may, might have missed. Um, and of course, afterwards, after the hair, you've checked the hair and you think it's pretty clean. Every day I would suggest using the gel or the, the Blue Magic on the hair uh, or hairspray um, to deter the lice. Um, and it makes the eggs slide out of the hair. So if there is happened to be a, another, you know, louse or lice living in the hair, that you put this on. And when you take a, you know, when the child takes a shower or you take a shower the next day, that when you wash the hair, it's not going to stick to the hair shaft. It'll actually come out more easily, you know, so that'll make it um, a little easier to get rid of them a little faster. So, um, this definitely for a few weeks. I know for us, it took us about three weeks to get rid of the lice, which I honestly think that we're lucky because I've seen some people have it for months. Um, and... The reason why it took us three weeks is because I didn't do everything in order. I did a little bit of research after the fact. I kind of like freaked out. And I was like, oh my god, let me try this, let me try that, let me try that. And I tried so many different things. So this to me is going to be the easiest way. You're going to be checking every single day to every two days. Every two days, if the child is itching in a specific area, like I would just ask them, are you itching today? You know, where are you itching? And and that um, instance, I would go ahead and start looking in that section where they're itching. Because more or less, if it's itching them there, there's something there. And it has been the case that there was something there. Um... Removing the eggs is the key to stopping the lice infestation. So it's it's really crucial that you definitely check the hair of the eggs um, all the time. And I know that the child's going to get a little tired of it after, you know, a few days. But you have to remove those eggs. If you don't have any eggs, then no more are going to hatch. And um, this is going to definitely make it a lot quicker. So everything, everything that the child has come into contact with, um, their clothing their bedding, anything that they've put into their hair that's washable, um, pretty much anything that they've worn, um, and anything that those pieces have had contact with. You have to wash it in super hot water, and you have to put it in the dryer on high heat. And it is recommended for at least 20 minutes in the dryer. So the heat in the water from the washing machine kills most of it. And then whatever might be left over that didn't die will be caught in the dryer. It'll, they can't, lice cannot live more than 24 to 48 hours off of your scalp because they need blood in order to, um, to breed, to live, to, you know, whatever it is. They need the blood. Uh, that's their main source of survival. So if you deprive them of that, then they cannot reproduce. They can't live. Anything that cannot be washed, you could put it in a garbage bag, tie it tight, and either put it up in the attic or put it in the basement or put it away. And I would suggest a month. Do it for a month because just to be safe. I've heard two weeks or like ten days, but you just never know. I'd rather just do it for a month to be sure because you don't want to have a huge reinfestation again. I have two more things. You want to disinfect any tools that you've used. You could either A, throw away the items. So if you wanted to buy a new hairbrush or whatever it is, accessories, go ahead. You could throw it out and get new. Um, but another good thing to disinfect it with rubbing alcohol. So you go ahead and buy a bottle, a huge, buy a huge bottle of rubbing alcohol. Get yourself like a, either a Tupperware or something that's kind of flat would be better. And something that could fit these tools, um, hair, hair tools inside of it to lay it flat if you can or even like upright so that it's, it's soaked into it. And that's it. And usually it only takes about one to two hours and then it's disinfected. I, I really think that this next thing um, the items that I mentioned, the shampoo and the conditioner, I think that these are so key to getting rid of them for good because prior to using these two products, um, they still were getting occasional um, eggs that I was seeing. 
Um, so this, the Denerex, you have to buy and bought this, and this is quite expensive. It was, you know, Walmart's the cheapest of all places to buy anything, and it was a little under $8. This is going to help. This is going to deter them. It, it's medicated, and you put it in your hair. You can kind of be careful with children's eyes because it does, like, because it's medicated, it kind of, like, feels like it's burning their eyes. So be careful you don't put it in their eyes at all. Um, I would suggest the first couple days letting them put this in their hair, wash with it, like, twice. You want to do, like, two shampoos and then rinse it out, of course. And then afterwards, you want to use the coconut conditioner they don't like coconut for some reason lice do not like coconut so i would suggest you put this in the hair and they don't even have to comb their hair if they don't want to you know in the shower um they put the coconut in in their um hair and then let them maybe just squeeze it out not even rinse it out that way the coconut is still on the hair and i'm telling you within a couple of days I, I think right away they started using this and the itching and i checked their hair and it's gone so i i think that these two products together after you get rid of the lice infestation um is going to work miracles i i know coconut i've heard coconut oil a lot and um so if you can use coconut oil in coconut it's like a clear one you'll see it it's they have blue they have green and they have clear and the clear one is the coconut one so this you could do that um afterwards i would still suggest using the coconut conditioner so that's it um if you have any questions for me um just let me know i'm tried to i hope it's helpful and i hope that you you know use some of these tips to hopefully get rid of whatever infestation that you're having right now at your house I